Hi, I'm Eric DeMatter. Welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead. Um, gonna jump right into episode 3, Broken Toys. Bad shit went down last time. And also, we're at the halfway point of the series, the last series of The Walking Dead. Previously on The Walking Dead. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. And AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ that what he'd done was murder, that he'd have to atone for it. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Lewis tune his piano. He opened up to me, and I admitted I had feelings for him. He had the same ones. Yeah, that was cute. Then the raiders finally came. <clears throat> they busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until ten ran out of cover hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Lewis. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we knew someone who did. Oh, it's time to have some fun, it is. Well, Abel. <coughs> what do you want Abel to tell us? <coughs> uh, coffee went down the wrong way. I hate when that happens. You okay, Willie? No, you're not. At the start, I was so little, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. Stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Look, I promise you, Willie, the people who did this, we're going to hit them back. They're gonna regret ever coming near us. If Mitch were here, he wouldn't cry. He'd find a way to get our friends back. And bash Lily's brains out with a rock. That's mine. Abel's tied up in the basement. He passed out from the pain. Thanks. AJ wanted to stay down there and keep an eye on him. Hey, buddy. It's time for us to bury Mitch and say our goodbyes. I'll help you get carry. away from him! Whoa! You're the reason he's dead! Willie! Well, it's true! We had a plan, and that idiot messed it up! Come on, Willie, none of this is Ten's fault. 
You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him! This... This is bullshit! Ten! Let me handle this. Talk to Abel. See if you can't find out where Lily took Vi, Omar, and Asim. I wanted to hurt him, you know, to make him talk, but... I just couldn't... I can. Maybe you'll get more out of him than I did. Rosie, you want to help me interrogate Abel? You want to bite him? You want to bite him? I want you to bite him. Brody. Hey, Rosie. Hey, girl. How you doing? Oh, she's our dog now. We put a dog in our inventory. That's interesting. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. Still want dibs? It's different like this. With them all broken. But I still hate them. Ready? Wake him up. Any way you like, AJ. Have some fun. Wake up, stupid shitting <gasps> fuckhead. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> well. <clears throat> It ain't no way to wake an old man up from his afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> Got any water? Drink. A good man or a squirt? <laughs> You've had your water. Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you let me dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. We underestimated you little shits, but Lily won't make the same mistake twice. You think Lily would come back for you? Look at the state you're in. You're worthless to her now. I can heal. There is no rescue party, Abel. Only a bunch of pissed off kids who want you dead. So tell us where our friends are. You trade it for mercy. <coughs> Lily will never give them up. The only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me. Three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say. Point the guns the way we tell them to. I don't give a shit about your war. Or your fucking... Hey, it's Nick Buskin reference! I think we like doing raids like this. Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. 
Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. It's a trick. Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof and is cloven footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts that shall ye eat. What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. <laughs> Your play didn't work. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? The smoke will clear my mind. This is a lot like the one in uh, Michonne. Help me remember stuff. I like where Lily went. Come on, kid. Don't make me wait all day. <laughs> I'm out of patience, Abel. Tell me where Lily went yeah. now. <laughs> That's a lot of blood. Oh fuck! This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? We have medicine. We can still patch him up. I don't think so. When you pushed me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. No medicine could fix this. Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking man. Yes, you are. Will he turn? No. <laughs> my, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to turn on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise. You won't let me turn. I'm begging you. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. The the answer is never let there be more walkers. So we're gonna kill him. Not that. I want to let me keep my face. You don't need to watch this. I want to. You died hard. Shit. At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. Yeah, we did just torture a man in front of him. Um. <laughs> Come on. We have a boat to find. Are we going to find the opening? In yep, the opening.
Sometimes I don't know the reason why So I guess I'll keep gambling lots of moves And lots of rambling Well it's easier than just a waiting around to die The Walking Dead, the final season. Doing okay, AJ? I love how everyone has bows and arrows, but no ex no quivers to hold extra arrows. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. Willie? It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was. Mitch died because he... Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, there it is. Oh boy. You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a... A wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. Hey, Lewis. Have you ever seen this thing before? No way. Pretty sure I would have remembered an old-timey riverboat. And from where I'm sitting, looks like that pier is the only way inside. Well, let's see what else is down there. There are a few on deck. A couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. If only we had guns. <laughs> uh, Wait, I see Violet. Oh, fucked up. Holy shit. This is really it. We found them. But how do we get them? The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. I can see an entrance. Yeah. There's one at the other end of the boat, too. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Water! Ask and thou shalt receive. Now we just need, what, a dozen walkers? How hard could that be? Maybe not as hard as you'd think. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. Don't boats have brigs? Boat jails. Maybe, but where? Now that, I, I, I don't know. Are you being helpful, Will, or are you being birdy and bitchy? Anything useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. Loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. Huh. Are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. We should set the raft on fire. 
And I don't have a plan past setting it on fire. <laughs> Mitch would approve. Anything exploding is the right answer. We do it for Mitch. Mitch the bitch. Uh, AJ. Dude, where are you hiding? What do you... Oh, there you are, dude. Hey, goofball. Goofball. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. More torches. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses, too. We could get on the boat easier that way. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. I could build traps. Weapons. Yeah, we'll steal their supplies, and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about? James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. That... But he knows how to blend in with them. We don't. We're all gonna die horribly. Well, hell yeah. Let's find out how much he charges for his services. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! A raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Stealthy approach. Stabbing time. Drop it. How many of you are there? How many of who? I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. Eight. There's eight. Clem, stop! Oh. Hey, Minnie. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um... She died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. Here, Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. Not the 
a new kid. I didn't ask to be put in charge. It just sort of happened. Is that the kind of wishy-washy bullshit you say to everyone back home or just me? Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Merlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did, but... Like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What are you talking about? Marlin traded you and Sophie like it was nothing. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. That is some grade-A horse shit. Clem saved us. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. What? Minerva? Where's Sophie? She died protecting the Delta. A hero. Sure. A hero? God, you Nerva! Shit. Oh. <laughs> Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. I want that axe. Be like the cover of the game. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're going to save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. If Ten could see you now, he'd be ashamed to call you his sister. Are you okay? It doesn't change anything. We still have to get onto that boat. To do that, we're gonna need walkers. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except Ten. I warned you. Enough, both of you. <clears throat> AJ and I will go find James. Be safe. Don't know what your fucking problem is, kid, but leave it at the door. It's not important to us right now. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? He doesn't. Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? I don't... Ow. Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. Clem... I, I keep thinking. When Lily said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. It's okay to get mad at people. You can't help that. But those thoughts have to stay in your head, okay? Don't act on them, ever. Okay. I'm strong. I can control what I do. Yes, you can, little dude. But not what I think. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Lily started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. 
Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, the other kids haven't had it as hard as we've had. We had to make a lot of mistakes to learn what we know. Yeah. I guess. But Tin's mistakes are just so bad. Maybe he'll learn from them, too, like we did. Hopefully. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? <clears throat> so they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off. <clears throat> How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. You sock it right in the mouth. It has a mouth? <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is that, like everything else in the world, you can fight it. Huh. So, it's like controlling my anger. Almost exactly. I can do that. I still like them. That's good. I like Tin the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're all hey. <laughs> I am not. Fine. He's my second first real friend. Clem, you know at the end of the day you're basically his big sister slash mom, right? <laughs> oh, fuck this crap again. see James. Just monsters. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just, I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. And how do we? If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Okay, we'll do it. Distract here. all of them. Please. I'll, I'll try. Like if if one of them's going to bite me, can I kill them, please? Okay, stun the walkers. I'm dead. Oh, this is the worst. Why do I have to do this? And no, I will complain every single time I have to do this bullshit. I'm ho I'm holding shift. Why aren't I running? Ugh! 
fuck? How long do I have to do this bullshit for? Do I have to stun every because they don't stay down? What the fuck is? Okay. He's doing his thing. This is terrible. This isn't good gameplay. I always say everything in these games is good except for the gameplay and well, the fact that they're generally broken. But... Oh! This is fucking stupid. Why do I have to do this? This isn't fun. Non-lethal. Fuck you! You know what, James? Fuck you! You're an asshole! Why are you slowing?! Why are you moving so fucking slowly?! What is wrong with you, you idiot?! God, Clementine. Why can't that pass through there?! Oh, this is terrible! Oh, this is such a bad... Draw them away. I'm having to do the bad shit. Well, not the bad shit, but the badly designed shit. AJ, are you okay? Yeah, no bites. I know it would have been easier to kill I killed them. one. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. Thank you for helping me get this back. Now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. We want to use walkers to hide, to sneak on board their ship. That's insane. 
It's our only chance. I have something I need you to see, so you can understand what you're asking. James. We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. And we'll do that next time. Ciao, guys. Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you, li if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao.